Well, I am so excited to be standing next to Ed Shanahan, the uh, creator of The Unexplained World. Yes. Now, can you tell us a little bit about the radio show and what was the genesis of that project? Uh, the radio show was something that we were working on, me and Annette tried to create <clears throat> years back. And finally we came across the uh, uh, service on the Internet mm -hmm. that allows you to do it. So we went there out to do it. Uh, for those who don't know, just explain a little bit about what it is and, and how it started. I had an interest in the paranormal and stuff like that and he had some interesting pictures. I lived out in this Chicagoland area, basically south suburb suburbs, within 10 minutes of Willow Springs. Mm -hmm. So I've lived here 40 plus years. Oh, wow. Okay, and knew, knew the stories, knew the experiences, and so I went to some of the places. Amy, who is what I call a psychic feeler, she gave me the name Spiritual Observer because mm -hmm. of the stuff that was showing up in my pictures. Mm -hmm. I would take picture, photographs during the day. I'm what, not, orbs or? No, actually, um, just like at Archer Woods, we have a photograph on there. There's a ghostly dog there. Uh -huh. There's faces that are showing up on the trees and stuff like that. So what do you do? You put them on your site and point them out? Uh, yeah, I, I leave her describe what she sees. The feeling she yeah, gets and what she sees. Yeah, from the pictures in there. Bachelor's Grove Cemetery. I got a screaming face right next to a headstone. Really? Okay, yes. Mm -hmm. And that actually went on one of the bigger paranormal websites. Oh, wow. And they, uh, they showed it that way. So now on the radio show, do you interview um, paranormal experts? Uh, we interview people in the spiritual side, mm -hmm. paranormal side, um, even conspiracies, mm -hmm. UFOs and stuff like that. Where can we hear it? Uh, basically go to the website and click on from there. It's on every Streaming. other, yeah, it's on every other Sunday mm -hmm. at 9 o'clock. Every show is archived. Mm -hmm. So you could go back. We talk about magic, okay. spells. Um, the one popular one was talking about uh, Area 51 uh -huh. and what this individual. So it's not there. just this area; it's all. Oh yeah, over. it's it's uh, it's different things. We mm -hmm. uh, we have some movie, some people that done movies. You host movies. videos on there too. Um, on, on my website. website, basically what I shoot different. I just try to give tours uh -huh. of locations. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, when I show the video, I just go out there uh -huh. like Bachelor's Grove, Archer Woods. Um, where the Grimes sisters were buried. Uh -huh. um, I got a tribute there to the Miracle Child mm -hmm. because that's still very special mm -hmm. in my heart. And I've actually taken people to that site now that are looking for um, healing miracles. There was a lady named Leah. Her daughter has a brain tumor. We went there in January, right after, uh, right after a small snowfall. It's the middle okay. of winter. Middle mm -hmm. of winter. And the way I do it is I'll put my hand there. Mm -hmm. You can see some pictures on the website mm -hmm. that I can't explain it, where my energy was more or less left on mm -hmm. that zone because it's glowing red where I touched wow. it. So I put my hand there, hold the person's other hand, and Leah put her right hand on it. I'll pray along with, mm -hmm. okay? All of a sudden we're engulfed with the smell of roses. And it's a guy, I heard the stories, yeah. but we experienced it. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was special. So what's your philosophy? What's, what's your stance when you're looking at paranormal activity? What do you hope to convey to the public? Um, when I do what I do, um, be it um, because I, I do conscious channeling. Mm -hmm. Let's say you have a family member who has a night. Let's say you have a family member that's passed away. Mm -hmm. Bring me their items, their personal items. I will hold it mm -hmm. and I usually, usually tap into them mm -hmm. by the energy I'm picking up. Mm -hmm. And I can, I usually first start out telling the person about their loved one. Mm -hmm. Like one lady I told um, her, her grandmother, I told her, your mother or your grandmother loved baking with you. Mm -hmm. She started crying mm -hmm. because her grandmother was blind because she had diabetes. Mm -hmm. So at the age of 11, she started having the granddaughter your eyes and hands. Mm -hmm. What I try to do mm -hmm. is show people, and this is a payback that um, I'm basically paying back, and I talked about it in the book, um, Voices from Chicago Grace, about mm -hmm. the miracle for my granddaughter. Uh, the payback is to show people that there is a spiritual side. Mm -hmm. You don't need gadgets, you don't need tools, you don't need that. I was just going to ask you, what no. tools do you bring None. to the field with you? I don't bring any. Uh -huh. okay. What I try to do is get you to experience mm -hmm. it. I try to make the spirits show themselves. Mm -hmm. We had uh, the first circle of energy I did. A man went running, dragging his wife, okay? Mm -hmm. After the circle was done, I went inside, and I'm looking for the person. And there's a man just 
this guy staring out in space with the lady sitting next to him. And because when I'm doing a circle, I usually have my eyes closed because mm -hmm. it's so much of my energy. Right. And I go, were you the ones who went running? And mm -hmm. he wasn't even talking. He was still staring in space. And she goes, yeah. She goes, my husband was standing there outside your circle. Mm -hmm. He's very skeptical. He's a skeptic. Uh -huh. And he's standing there next to me, to my left. She goes, he looks at his left, looks back, looks again. And there was a face that's floating, looking at him. Mm -hmm. And boom. So I made that skeptic yeah. a believer. Right. <laughs> okay. Right. Now, wh what's with the objects? Um, what do you feel um, is the significance of bringing in an object of a loved one? Number one, if you brought in a watch, glasses, mm -hmm. uh, earrings, wedding ring, wedding band, whatever, mm -hmm. the energy of that person is left on there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because it's conscious channeling, um, you kind of tap in easier. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, a week ago, two weeks ago, I did it live in front of a whole audience, mm -hmm. okay? Which was pretty neat, but you start wondering, because I believe spirits are around us, mm -hmm. if you're picking up other spirits. Yeah. So we may in the future be doing that for a whole audience to sit through me doing one-on-one -on -one readings mm -hmm. like that. Now, if somebody wants to get involved, how do they get a hold of you? Uh, go to the unexplained, theunexplainedworld.com. You also got a link to our uh, radio show, see the archives there. The photos I have, we the videos I talked about, mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Any future projects you want to talk about? Sure. I'm working <laughs> with Ursula with, um, it's called Beyond the Veil, Ursula oh, Bielski. We take them to locations um, that they may not have a chance. Some uh -huh. of them will be overnighters. Oh, it's nice. Not a full tour. It's not a tour. It's being a location for four, five, six hours. Really taking the time yeah. to take it in. Yeah. While we're there, um, people could also bring items with them. I'll mm -hmm. do readings, those mm -hmm. readings at these locations. Mm -hmm. Usually places that are haunted mm -hmm. or have spirits, mm -hmm. it's a better tap-in for me, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. Yeah, well, it's been really fascinating Thank talking you. with you. Thank and for you. more information, check out theunexplainedworld.com or listen to the radio show on Sunday nights. Every other Sunday. Every other Sunday. It'll <laughs> tell you. Just go to the website. Or visit him at the conference and get a reading. Yep. Thanks Amen. for joining us. Thank you.